Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with Haunted Halloween 86. This is one of the easiest games you can do for gamer score right now. It has a thousand gamer score. You'll be able to grab in about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on kind of how many playthroughs it takes you. Each playthrough is only a couple minutes, though. We'll just load up straight to the main menu. From the main menu, you'll want to go to options and select easy. Then you can press exit and start a new game. Once this uh, little game loads, you can press start to completely skip the tutorial, which is what I'm going to do now. And then you can just tap through A in order to go through all this dialogue. Controls wise, this game is super simple because we're on easy. We do have all of the abilities. You can double tap A uh, to double jump. You will have to move with the D-pad. Crouching is pretty important in this game. And then you can also punch with X as your attack. So we're in the dungeon now. Uh, punch through this wall and go up to this uh, skeleton and you'll have to crouch to make sure you don't get hit. After he attacks you, he will try to uh, walk forward and you'll kill him by just punching forward. In these little boxes like this, you can crouch at them and press X to pick them up and X to throw them. Inside of them is usually just life. You'll want to kill all the enemies as you come across them. There'll be some more skeletons here again. We're gonna approach the skeleton. We're gonna crouch at the skeleton and just punch the air until he walks into us. There's achievements for killing 10, 20, 30, and 50 enemies, which we'll obviously grab along the way. All the achievements for killing enemy, all the achievements in this game overall are completely cumulative. So if you do die and have to restart the game completely, everything carries over to your next playthrough. So don't worry about having to be like super skilled or anything. If you are struggling a little bit, just take your time to kind of get familiar with the controls. And in level two, if you do die, you start at the beginning of level two. You don't have to restart the whole game. You have a total of five lives in your bank, although I would recommend trying to keep as many lives as possible. In level two, we have to kind of head punch these enemies to decapitate them, so do that. You can also pick up their heads and then throw them, but that's not very that's not a very good strategy. For the ants, you have to uh, crouch punch them and then pick them up and throw them if you want. Right around here, you should get the achievement for killing ten enemies. Um, so that should unlock. I already have it, uh, so it won't show up on screen. Um... If you're getting hit, that is completely fine because there is an achievement for getting hit a total of 25 times. So as we're working towards stuff, we're probably going to get hit and we'll unlock this eventually. If we don't, again, we're just going to do another playthrough until everything we need unlocks over time. This is the third level. Again, we're going to uh, work our way through it. Pick up life if you need it here. And then the, on the right hand top corner, that's what a life looks like. So pick up this life. If, it's, if you miss it, it's completely fine because there's actually a boosting method later on in the game that works um, that we can just kind of get the same life over and over. Unfortunately for that life, if you pick it up, there's not enough enemies to kill you to reset you to the checkpoint. So for these new enemy types, literally if these guys just walk straight into you, just punch them so they don't hit you. If you need life, you can try to throw this and then collect the life, but it's not very useful. More enemies to punch. Just keep punching your way through. Somewhere around here, you'll probably unlock kill 20 enemies. Maybe you're around 30 by now, and you'll walk forward into this room. Press start to skip the dialogue, and then you can jump through the hole in the wall here. And then this level is pretty important, so uh, it's a little bit difficult, but this is kind of the level we'll need to focus on in order to get lives. Just kill the enemies as you're going through, and then watch the spikes on the roof here when you're when you're jumping across. Watch the dripping uh, spikes here. If you want to do the get hurt 25 times, this is a pretty good place to do it. So uh, just make sure you don't get hit by the drip droppers. And then what we'll want to do is we need to make our way to this location right here. And then there's a life in the top right. And we'll collect that life. And then we want to die on purpose to the spikes. Every time you die, you'll get this screen. It'll say serum soda. That's the amount of lives you have. So currently I have six lives. And if you do this correctly, you can get all 10 of your lives without having a game over in this game. The only problem is there's a chance that you might, you know, not make it to the life. Like I'm probably not going to make it just because I've taken a lot of damage here unnecessarily. But basically, all you want to do is try to try to get to the life that I showed you uh, a total of 10 times. And uh, if done correctly, 
uh, you'll be able to get all 10 of those lives within the five lives you get. If not, it's fine. You can just sprint through back to this area and you should be good to go. So again, I'll explain everything kind of as I'm going through this. We're killing enemies to get up to 50 enemy kills. That'll kind of happen naturally as you go through this area and collect lives. Most importantly, you want to focus on collecting 10 lives, which is by getting that little pickup in the top right corner of this little platform area. Uh, the lives, again, are this little like cash, cash pickup symbol. So here it is in the top right corner. Uh, th these platforms are a little bit slippery, so watch out. We pick up the life. And then as soon as we pick up the life, we die. Because we picked up the life, we're not actually going to lose any lives. And we're just going to repeat this process over and over until we get the collect 10 lives achievement. Once we collect the 10 lives achievement, uh, we should also be uh, done or very, very close to completing the kill 50 enemies achievement. All of these achievements, by the way, do have tracking. So make sure that if, um, you know, if you want to see how many kills you have, just... Just look through the tracking. Uh, if you do lose all your lives, that's okay. All of the tracking will carry over to your next playthrough, like I was saying earlier. And then upon losing all of your lives, you will also get a game over, which is a 100-point achievement. And at that point, you should be completely done the game. If you're able to get 10 lives all in one run, you'll take about 8 to 10 minutes. If it takes you 2 or 3 or 4 runs, you'll probably take around 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, but that's how you can get a 1,000 gamer score in Haunted Halloween 86 very easily. Again, we're going to work our way through to, I believe, what is the fourth level. We're going to uh, pick up the lives in the fourth level here and then die on purpose in order to res respawn. Do this a total of 10 times to get the 3, 6, 9, and 10 lives achievements. As we're doing this, we'll get the kill 50 enemies achievement and... Also, once we run out of lives, we'll get the game over. And that's literally the entire game. That's all 1,000 gamer score. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you appreciate the video. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. Hopefully, I see you guys around. Leave a like if this video was helpful. If you want to see more videos, like it. And uh, share with your friends, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.